Hi Capricorn. I appreciate you guys checking out this reading. It's going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, you can check your Jupiter sign, your North Node sign, uh, what signs in your 7th house, and what house your Sun and your Venus fall in. Keep in mind it won't resonate with every single Capricorn, and that's okay. All right, check one of your other placements if it comes to that. All right, um, my email is in the description box for you to email me any spiritual questions, um, spiritual topics, advice. If you have any questions about my own personal spiritual journey, hit me up. You can also email me about personal readings um, until I get the Etsy back up and running again. <laughs> So, well, let's get started, Capricorn. Let's see what's in for y'all. Y'all readings are usually very interesting. So, we're going to see. Y'all are the very last one. I don't know why I always do Capricorn last. <sighs> y'all the very last reading that I have. And nothing wants to flip out. So, I guess I'm going to have to flip it myself. Oh, there goes something. Okay engagement i tell you you always get this dope energy like i feel like there's a i feel reconciliation for you guys for some some reason um okay so we have you deserve love on the bottom of the deck i think all the earth signs have gotten that same card um release your ex mm, yeah keep an open mind and playfulness all right, Capricorn, let's see what y'all got, okay? I am very curious to see. All right, Spirit, clarify engagement for Capricorns in love. And it says, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, hmm. yeah, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, <sighs> okay, and the Two of Cups. All right, so Capricorn, I'm already feeling like I've already I felt like this from the beginning. Um, yeah, y'all have somebody around you that you cut off that wants to work things out with you. Um, this person feels like it could be a Virgo or an Air sign. Um, this person feels like you're their person. The two of cups is also engagement, you guys. So some of you guys might literally be, um, in a relationship and, uh, this person decides to, um, propose. Cause if you look down, when I saw this card, when it flipped over, it looked like this person was on one knee proposing, um, to this queen of swords. So that's another way to look at it, uh, Capricorn. Okay. Spirit clarify, release your ex. And it says, the time has come to clear your energy. Spirit, clarify, release your ex. Spirit, clarify, release your ex. Capricorn, I don't know. What's up with y'all's cards not flipping over? Here we go. Oh, so we got the five of cups, you guys. Yeah, some of you guys need to release some type of pain um, and heartache from your past. Okay, some of you guys might be holding on to a pain from someone might have been a water sign, particularly a Scorpio that hurt you. Um, and you may still have some of that pain that is um, kind of lingering. Okay, take it how it resonates, Capricorn. It may not be the case. Keep an open mind. Spirit, clarify, keep an open mind for Capricorn. And it says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So we got the Ten of Cups. Yes, whatever it is, the Ace of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, whatever it is, you guys, I am going to clarify that. Whatever it is, you guys, it's, it's it'll be definitely the uh, emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment, Okay. Um, it'll definitely be a, a union that's balanced and in harmony. Um, this could also be, you guys, that um, I want to say this person is an ex that hurt you or this person may have certain 
traits and things like that that you may notice that someone that you dealt with in the past had, okay? And it might be bringing up these this Five of Cups energy with this person. Um, and that's probably why, probably why you need to release uh, the pain because you may be um, being triggered and things like that by this person. So, um, Spirit, clarify playfulness for Capricorn. Okay, exactly what I thought. Okay, so we got the Three of Pentacles. Behind the Three of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> if you can see the Four of Pentacles right here, how how this how he's holding on like that. Yeah, you guys are holding on to something that happened in the past. It may have been a third-party situation that you had um, with a past situation. And so you're kind of holding on to it. And you're not... You're not enjoying the moment. You're not enjoying the moment with this new person. Or when this new person comes in, you may have an issue enjoying the moments with that person. The Queen of Swords, you guys, can also be a woman that is bitter. Okay? Not calling you bitter, though, Capricorn. All right? Don't mean to come, you know, cussing me out and stuff. But the Queen of Swords can come off as someone bitter. Okay? Um, when this person is really just trying to work with you and be with you, you might still have... You might still be holding on to some resentment from your past. All right. Let's pull from another deck and see about the energy from another deck. Spirit, clarify engagement for Capricorns in love. I saw the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify engagement for Capricorns in love, Spirit. Y'all cars just don't want to operate today. Sheesh. Yeah, the high priestess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, this might be, this is you using your intuition, uh, Capricorn, and realizing that you're no longer, oh, God, this couldn't be a perfect card. <laughs> on the bottom of the deck, y'all, I'm going to cut this off for a second and show you this ten of swords on the bottom of the deck. You see, the ten of, this ten of swords I love in this deck is not the, the usual ten of swords with the man on the ground with all the stabs in his back, with all the swords in his back. This ten of swords is someone looking like, damn, I've been through a lot. And you calm and cool. You've been through a lot, Capricorn, but you don't have to take it with you. Learn the lesson. And keep it moving. Enjoy life because you have someone coming in or someone that's already in your life that wants to give you something better. This person is not like your past. So, And if this is someone from your past, they're not like they were before. Capricorn, take it how it resonates, okay? The high priest is here. Let's get back to the high priest. Yeah, this is someone that, uh, that um, might be very very intuitive to your needs as well this person may be aware of the hurt that you have okay um this could also be it being revealed to you how um how you're acting this person may say to you that you're you're taking your anger and frustrations out on them or they may say to you that you're closed off and you're not emotional um you're not really uh showing your hurt you're covering up hurt okay you're not dealing with it well all right spirit clarify release your ex wow no way it could you guys could have been dealing with an air sign a gemini libra aquarius i take it how it resonates y'all got the nine of swords here look this is what y'all ha have went through y'all went through this with someone and guess what came out again? The Queen of Swords came out again. I told you this is this is someone that's bitter. This is also someone that doesn't express their hurt. Okay? The Queen of Swords holds in their hurt. They hold in their pain. But it comes out in other ways. It comes out in other ways. But here's the thing, you guys. I'm going to say this. Because I do try. I, I try not to get on my soapbox and go on rants. A lot of times... In readings, you know, especially on YouTube, tarot, people always say that, oh, you have someone around you that doesn't show emotions. You have someone around you that doesn't blah, blah, blah. The emotions always come out. 
okay? There's no way to not be emotionless. There's no way. It The emotions always come out in one way or another, okay? So I'm going to use a very grim example of that. How people say someone is like a psycho, right? Um, Y'all remember that movie Psycho with that man? Is it Christian Bale? Um, he was not emotionless. He didn't express himself. But how did he express himself? By killing people, you guys. Listen. <laughs> I don't mean to be grim. I think I'm going to go live and talk about this, but emotions always come out. They have to. It's energy. There's no way it's going to come. It's not going to come out. It co it can come out in bad ways, though. If you don't express it, if you don't get it out in healthy ways, it can come out in, in ways of being destructive, being overly angry, um, not taking care of yourself, uh, hurting other people. You guys, it can come out in a number of ways. Okay, uh, it can come out in disease too, you guys. You know, getting can certain cancers um, and getting all these different ailments in the body. Disease is disease. You're not releasing that stuff. Okay, it's going to come out no matter what. Okay, spirit clarify, keep an open mind. And the Ten of Cups for Capricorn, y'all. Thank you for listening to my TED Talks. <laughs> All right, so we got the Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, this person might also be very slow moving, but they are solid, y'all. This person is very, very, very solid. The keep an open mind here. And we got the Five of Cups. Yeah, again, we got, y'all got the Five of Cups. I know it, y'all. I said it earlier. The Five of Cups under release your ex. Yeah, I got the Five of Cups under really, uh, over, under, uh, keep it open mind. I told y'all this was somebody that y'all probably dated before hurt your heart. This might be this person that hurt you. It might be the exact same person. We got the exact same card. I knew I knew this is where this was going. Spirit clarify playfulness for Capricorn. Mm, I'm not going to take all these, but I saw the King of Swords. So there we go. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, Capricorn. Um, We got the fool. Y'all always get reconciliation energy. Y'all got the fool. Yeah, someone wants to come in and make, take a leap of faith. And we got the will of fortune. Someone wants things to turn around with you. I'm telling you this for a lot of you. This is someone that you know. This is someone that may have hurt you before. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I am going to pull a couple of love messages. Since it's somebody from the past, I'm just going to pull a few. I'm not going to pull a whole lot because again, Capricorn, it's entirely up to you if you want to deal with this person again. Um, I don't tell anybody what to do. Nobody ever. Okay. Use your own intuition. Use your own discernment on if this person is worth dealing with again. I can't handle thinking of you as someone else. Yeah, of course. Of course, that's why they're trying to come back around. So beautiful by Music Soul Child. Yeah, I feel like this person finds you very attractive. Walked Out of Heaven by Jagged Edge. Yeah. That might be their y'all song. I'm not brave enough to face you. Yeah, that's that's that Knight of Pentacles energy, you guys. They kind of moving slow. I miss hearing your voice. Oh, Capricorn. <laughs> My heart is open and I'm ready. Yeah, they may be ready now. They may not have been before, um, depending on what, what happened or what was what was going on. I see marriage with you. Yeah, of course. That's that engagement, y'all. They may come back around and, and propose, Capricorn. Luxury Love by Mario on the bottom of the deck. And then I like to cut the deck and see what we get. And it says, I don't want to be tied down right now. I want to explore. Yeah, this is probably why y'all is separated. This is probably why y'all separated right here. Because they told you they didn't want to be tied down. Yeah. It's a whole nother thing now, Capricorn. Okay? So, Capricorn, I hope this resonated with you. If it did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Y'all know I always appreciate y'all watching. Um, the love offerings and everything like that. Um, yeah, you guys, hit that like, subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace out.